Good morning, students. Now, eight group elements already discussed. Then, today we discuss seventh group element. So, this chapter we discuss two class or maximum three class. So now, this is seventh group element. It is also very very important chapter. And uh, you have to write uh, running notes. And uh, now then today we discuss about seventh group element. So now here, of course, in every group, in every group, the first topic is electronic configuration. First topic is electronic configuration. Now, seventh group element electronic configuration is. NS2 and P6. Seventh group, sorry, NS2 and P5. Seventh group element electronic configuration is NS2 and P5. That means outermost 2 plus 5 equal to 7. Outermost 2 plus 5 equal to 7. That's why it is seventh group element. Its IUPAC means its IUPAC group is. 17th group. Its IUPAC group is 17th group. In the previous class, what happened? 8th group that is this. That 8th group IUPAC name is 18th group. Here 7th group IUPAC group is 17th group. Its electronic configuration is NS2 and P5. Here N means number of cells. S means orbitals. 2 electrons, n number of cells, p orbitals, 2, uh, sorry, 5 electrons. That means NS2 and P5 outermost 2 plus 5 equal to 7. This 7th group element is also called halogen family. This 7th group element is also called halogen family. That means these elements are available in sea water. These elements are available in sea water. Hence, it is also called salt-like element. Now, first we discuss electronic configuration. First, we discuss about electronic configuration. So, seventh group element electronic configuration is NH2 and P5. Here, elements are fluorine, fluorine, bromine, iodine, astatine. Now again you will take helium, then neon, argon, krypton, xenon. Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon. In the previous class already discussed. Helium atom number is 2, neon 10, argon 18, krypton 36, xenon 54. Now, 7th group element electronic configuration is NH2 and P5 means it is 2S2, 2P5. It is 3S2, 3P5. It is 3D10, 4S2, 4P5. This is 4D10, 5S2, 5P5. This one, 4F14, 5D10, 6S2, 6P5. This is the electronic configuration of seven group elements. Now here, atomic number are, this is 2, 2 plus 2, 4 plus 5, 9. Fluorine atomic number is 9. Here, neon, 10, 12, 5, 17. Total chlorine atomic number is 17. 18, 28, 30, 35. Bromine atomic number is 35. 36, 46, 48, 53. Iodine atomic number is 53. Next, 54, 68, 78, 80, 85. Uh, its atomic number is 85. Now, this is the seventh group element electronic configuration. The seventh group element electronic configuration is NH2 and P5. Here, N means number of cells, S means orbitals, 2 means electron. 
n means number of cells, p means other, five means electron. This seventh group element electronic configuration is simply n h two n p five. These elements are also called salt-like element. These elements are also called salt-like element. These are available in sea water. These are available in sea water. Now this is the electronic configuration. This is the electronic configuration. Now next we discuss about oxidation state. Next we discuss about what happened. Oxidation state. Here simply seventh group element oxidation states are depend upon electronic configuration. Seventh group element oxidation states are depends upon electronic configuration. Its seventh group element oxidation states are minus one, plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. So here minus one oxidation states are called common oxidation state. Seventh group element oxidation states are minus one. Plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. Minus one, plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. This minus one are called common oxidation state. This common oxidation states are depends upon zero group element electronic configuration. This minus one is depend upon zero group element electronic configuration. Now zero group element electronic configuration is NH two NP six minus Seventh group element electronic configuration is NS2 NP5. Now uh, here, sorry, here NS2 NP5, here NS2 NP6. Five minus six equal to what? Over here minus one. Five minus six equal to minus one. That's why seventh group element common oxidation states are minus one. This common oxidation states are depends on. Zero group element electronic configuration. Now other plus one plus three plus five plus seven. It is depend upon excitation state. Now let us here NS two NP five. This is ground state. In so much it contain one orbital two electron and P contain three orbitals and five electrons. Here how many unpaired electrons is there? One. That's why its oxidation state is plus one. Now it undergoes sp3 hybridization. It undergoes sp3 hybridization. Now first excitation stage. This lower pair enters in that side. This lower pair enters in that side. So what happened here? Yes, it contains one, two, and P contains. Three orbitals and four electrons, and D contains five orbitals and one electron. How many unpaired electrons is there? One, two, three. That's why its oxidation states are plus three. It undergoes what is the operation? Sp three D. Its oxidation states are what are they? Plus three. One, two, three. Simply oxidation states are depend upon unpaired electrons. Now second excitation state. In the second excitation stage, this lone pair of electron enters in this side. So that's why S O H it contains one, two, and P contains three orbitals and three electrons, and D contains five orbitals, two electrons. How many unpaired electrons is there? One, two, three, four, five. So that's why it undergoes S. P three D two hybridization. So here one two three four five total. It's a uh, one two three four five. Its oxidation states are plus five. Its oxidation states are plus five. So now third excitation state. What about this lone pair in the center side? S O H it contain one. P contain one two three and D contain five or thus how many electrons? Three electrons. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's why its oxidation states are plus one. C B plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. Plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. This is oxidation state. So here, seventh group element oxidation states are minus one, plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. Minus one, plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. This minus one are called common oxidation state. 
this common oxidation states are depends upon zero group element electronic configuration that's why nh2 np5 minus nh2 np6 that's why minus you know what i'm here minus one oxidation state other oxidation states are depend upon zero group element electronic con electronic configuration ground state here only one unpaired electron that's why plus one oxidation state the first degradation state there are three unpaired electrons that's why plus three oxidation state the second degradation state there are five unpaired electrons one two three four five that's why plus five oxidation state the third degradation state there are seven unpaired electrons that's why plus seven oxidation state this is oxidation state the next topic is goes to inter halogen compound next topic is goes to the third topic is inter halogen compound inter halogen compound inter halogen compound basically what is the definition of inter halogen compound inter halogen compound means the two halogen atoms they react to each other the two halogen atoms they react to each other are called inter halogen compounds the two halogen atoms they react to each other are called inter halogen compound these inter halogen compounds are photons inter halogen compounds are these are photons inter halogen compounds are photons d as first one ax second one ax3 third one ax5 fourth one ax7 ax ax3 ax5 ax7 here a is nothing but central atom x nothing but unpaired electrons x nothing but unpaired electrons then here only one x is there that's a one unpaired here three unpaired here five unpaired here seven unpaired now this for example now let us we discuss a x type a x type here a x type means now simply here a is the central metal so here for example a is the central metal means fluorine is cannot form central metal atom here already there fluorine chlorine bromine iodine iodine is there fluorine is cannot form central metal other elements of central metal is formed why that means fluorine is cannot form central metal means fluorine is a small size high electronegativity so high electronegativity fluorine atom is a high electronegativity that's why fluorine is cannot form central metal atom that's why what is the best example of ax type clf brcl brf if icl ibr but not but not fluorine is cannot form central metal so here c l f o b r f o i c l these are the example of a x type so here c l f is there but not f c l is it is not correct it is not correct fluorine is cannot form central metal fluorine is cannot form central metal due to fluorine is a small size high electronegativity atom that's why fluorine is cannot form central metal that's why it is not cut so clf clf uh, brcl icl ibr if uh, bri ibr this is cut but not uh, fcl that is wrong due to what of fluorine is cannot form central metal now let us so here what is the electronic configuration here nh2 np5 so this formula is as is written are called ground state yes how much it contain 1 2 and p contain 3 orbitals 5 electrons so here how many unpaired electrons is there one here how many x is there only one that's why it undergoes sp3 hybridization it undergoes sp3 hybridization how many sp3 four sp3 this four sp3 mean its a, its structure is linear its structure is linear So how draw the linear means? The linear means this is the linear A central metal X. How many pair electrons? One, two, three. One, two, three. This is the structure of linear. 
Now in this one first. So this is a x time. Next one. Second one is a x three time. A x three time. Here what is the a x three time? A x three time means a is the central metal. X is the unpaired electrons. How many unpaired electrons there? Three unpaired electrons there. That's why a x three. Now first its electronic configuration is n s two n p five. Now let us hear ground stage. Here ground stage. Guess how much it contain? One two and p contain one two three four five. In the ground stage only one unpaired electron is there. The remaining unpaired electrons are the same. First excitation stage. The remaining unpaired electrons are the same. First excitation stage. Okay. Now let us first excitation stage. Yes, it contain one two and p contain one two three four. And B contain five or plus two electrons. So one electron. How many? One, two, three. So that's three or plus and five electrons. Now here only one unpaired electron is there. But here only unpaired electrons three. The remaining unpaired electrons center us in first excitation state. The rest of them it contain one, two, and B contain three or plus and uh, five electrons, four electrons. And B contains one electron. And B contains one electron. There are how many electrons? One, two, three. How many two halogens are there? Three. That's why it undergoes sp3 dehydrogen. It undergoes sp3. How many? One, two, three, four, five. So the five sp3 dehydrate are the right form. These five sp3 dehydrate are the undergoes p shape. The shape of the molecule is p shape. Bench shape. So this shape of the molecule is T shape. How about the structure of T shape? So this is T shape. A central metal. A is the central metal. It is one, two, three. So this is T shape. So here X, X, X. Okay. This is A X three type. Here the best example of A X three type is C L F three. C L F three. BrF3, ICl3. These are the examples of AX3 type. These are the examples of AX3 type. Now let us discuss AX5 type. So first one AX, AX3, AX5, AX7. AX means A is the central metal. X is the unpaired electron. The best example is CL, BrF, ICl. Now the electronic configuration is NH2, NP5. Here A X means A is the central metal, X is the unpaired electron. Here how many halogens are there? One. That's why only one unpaired electron will be taken. So how many here in the ground state? It contains only one unpaired electron. That's why it undergoes sp3 hybridization. It is the shape of the shape of the molecule is linear. Linear means it contains three lone pairs. One, two, three. Three lone pairs and one bond pair. Next A X three. A X three means it is how many A is the standard metal. X is the unpaired electron. Its electronic configuration is N S two N P five. So here the best example is C L F three, B R F three, I C L three. Now ground state. In the ground state only one unpaired electron. In the first excitation state there are three unpaired electrons. That's why it undergoes A S P three D hybridization. Total five sp3 d hybrid organ is formed. Its shape of the molecule is T shape or bent shape. This one. So T shape is. So next type is A X five type. Next type is A X five type. Third type is A X five type. Third one A X five type. Here X five type means the best example is what is I F five, I F five and B R F five. Oh, I F five is the best example of this one. I F five. So here iodine is the central metal, fluorine is the unpaired electron. How many unpaired electrons is there? Five. That's why the best example is I F five is the best example of A X five. Now let us its electronic configuration is. N S two N P five. Now what are the first ground stage? 
So in the ground state what is here? S it contain one two and P contain three or vitals and five electrons. But in the ground state how many unpaired electrons is there? Only one unpaired electron is there. The remaining unpaired electrons set us in first excitation state. Due to what happened here, five five hydrogen is there, five fluorine is there. That five fluorine means hybridizations are simply depend upon unpaired electrons. Now first excitation state. This lone pair enters in that side. Yes, how much it contain? One, two, and P contain three or vitals and this lone lone pair of electrons enters in this side. This side means D or R side. So what happened here? D five or R one electrons. So here how many unpaired electrons is there? Three. But here how many fluorine is there? Five. The remaining unpaired electrons are the same. Second excitation state. So now second excitation state. Yes, it contain one, two, and P contain one, two, three, and D contain five or thus two electrons. So how many unpaired electrons are there? One, two, three, four, five. Here how many fluorine? Five. Equal. So that's why it undergoes. sp3 d2 hybridization it undergoes sp3 d2 hybridization how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 total 6 sp3 d2 hybrid or the is formed its shape of the molecule is square pyramid its shape of the molecule is square pyramid square pyramid its shape of the molecule is square pyramid how are the structure of the square pyramid A is the center metal. Our I is the center metal. So this is the square. This is square. So how many fluorine is there? Five fluorine. One, two, three, four. Five fluorine. This is fluorine. One pair of them. That's the easy square pair. The next last type is A X seven type. Last type is the fourth type is A X seven type. Here A X seven type is Uh, A is the center metal. X is the unpaired electron. The best example is I F seven. The best example is I F seven. So now let us solve it. Its electronic configuration is N S two N P five. Now here ground state. In the ground state, what happens? Here S it contains one two and P contains three or thus five electrons. Here only one unpaired electron is there. Here only seven. The remaining unpaired electron is there. So first excitation state. That's why right. the first excitation state. Yes, it contains one, two, and P contains one, two, three, four, and D contains five or thus three electrons. Five or thus one electron. So total how many unpaired electrons is there? One, two, three. But there how many hydrogen is there? Seven. The remaining unpaired electron is there. So what are they? Second excitation state. Now let us the second excitation state. Yes, it contain one, two, and P contain one, two, three, and D contain five or thus two electrons. So now how many unpaired electrons is there? Seven. But here here only five. But here only seven. The remaining unpaired electrons are the same. Third excitation state. The remaining unpaired electrons are the same. What are they? Third excitation state. That's why right. third excitation state. Yes, how much it contain one. Only one. This lone pair enters in this side. One and P contain three orbitals and three electrons. And D contain five orbitals. D contain one, two, three, four, five. Five orbitals. How many electrons? Three electrons. That's why it has to be sp3 d3. How many? Seven sp3 d3 hybrid orbital is formed. These seven sp3 d3 hybrid orbitals undergo. Pentagonal bipyramidal. Pentagonal bipyramidal. How does the structure of pentagonal bipyramidal? So its structure is this one. A is the central metal. It contains seven. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are halogen. These are halogen. That that is simply I F seven. This is Inter halogen compound. So this inter halogen compounds are basically three types. Sorry, four types. X, X three, X five, X seven. X, X three, X five, X seven. X means it contains CLF, BRF, ICL. 
Yes is A is central metal, X is the unpaid electron. So that's why only one halogen is there. That's why one unpaired electrons are present in the ground state. It undergoes sp3 hybridization. Its shape of the molecule is linear. Next AX3. AX3 is the best example is CLF3, BRF3, ICL3. So in the first excitation stage, there are three unpaired electrons. The three unpaired electrons it undergoes sp3 dehydration. Its shape of the molecule is T shape. So that is T shape. AX5. It is AX5 means that the here uh, the best example is IF5. That IF5 means five unpaired electrons are which excited state. Second is second excitation state. That means the ground state there is only one unpaired electron. First excitation state three unpaired electrons. Second excitation state five unpaired electrons. That's why it undergoes sp 3 d 2 hybridization. Its shape of the molecule is square pyramidal. Now this square pyramidal structure is this one. H7. H7. That means the best example is IF7. So here in the ground state only one unpaired electron. First three, second five, third excitation state seven unpaired electron. Now it undergoes sp 3 d 3 Total seven. Its shape of the molecule is pentagonal bipyramidal. So this is uh, this topic. Then today we dis uh, maximum three topic will be discussed. That is first one electronic configuration, oxidation state, interhalogen compound. Electronic configuration means seventh group element electronic configuration is NH two N three five. Outermost two plus five equals seven. That's why it is I P S I U P S group is seventeenth group element. Here this element is also called uh, C. Salt like seawater element. So these are also called halogen family. The elements are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, astatine. So what is the electronic configuration already discussed? Then oxidation state. Simply some of the group element oxidation states are minus 1, plus 1, plus 3, plus 5, plus 7. Then minus 1 are called common oxidation state. These common oxidation states are depends upon zero group element electronic configuration. Other oxidation states are depend upon excitation states. In the ground state, only one unpaired electron. That's your plus one oxidation state. In the first excitation state, three unpaired electron. That's your three oxidation state. In the second excitation state, five unpaired electron. That's your five oxidation state. In the third excitation state, seven unpaired electron. That's your seven oxidation state. The next interhalogen compound. What is the definition of interhalogen compound? When two halogen atoms they react with each other, when two halogen atoms they react with each other are called interhalogen compound. Uh, fluorine is cannot form central metal. Reason: Fluorine is a small size and fluorine is a high electronegativity atom. That's why fluorine is cannot form central metal. So these are four types: AX, AX3, AXY, AX1, AX sp3 hybridization. AX3 sp3 dehydration, AX5 sp3 d2 hybridation, AX7 sp3 d3 hybridation. So this is uh, this is seventh group element. So in the seventh group elements, we covered three topic. The remaining topic will be discussed on next class.